Hello, welcome to the video where we will talk about the Bluetooth qualification. In this section, we will cover the Launch Studio, which will guide you through the Bluetooth qualification process. It is therefore a kind of application on Bluetooth.com, which is designed to facilitate the whole process from assigning the project through testing to receiving a certificate of qualification. Notice that all included information is also available on Bluetooth.com. The so-called Launch Studio also contains help and everything is very well described. Let's take a closer look at the whole process. Basically, you follow the tabs in the predefined forms and checkboxes. The forms differ with regards to the two basic cases that we have already mentioned in the previous video. It is a question of whether the qualification requires testing or not. So for the first, we will go through the path without the required testing in the launch studio. The first step is project basics and we have selected qualification with no required testing. We already discussed before, but we can highlight it here to remind. This path is intended for members using previously qualified Bluetooth end product or subsystem product type without any design changes. It means you are using another member's previously qualified Bluetooth and products or subsystems in your product with no changes or additions to the Bluetooth design. Purchasing a Bluetooth product manufactured by a third party and distributing it with your organization's name or logo. Creating combinations involving only previously qualified Bluetooth and products or subsystems without any design changes. And the form offers several boxes where you can fill in the basics of your project. It is a name of your project. If it is a reference qualified design, enter the QDID for the design on which you are basing your project. Search for the ID in uh, Launch Studio or if you are not sure, ask your supplier. Now several details stated in product declaration. You specify these items in the form. Listing date. Enter the date you want your declaration listed in the Bluetooth product listing database. It must not be later than 90 days after the date you submit your project through Launch Studio. Details of your organization's product incorporating this Bluetooth design including for product full name, add the name. For category, enter the category which best represents your product. Choose the list of options. For product website, enter the URL. For publish date, enter the date you want the following product information to be available in the Bluetooth product listing database. No later than 90 days after the date you submit your project. Name, product number, category, subset ID if applicable, publish date, product description. This is also associated with payment for DID. It is part of the process and without this the DID will not be issued. Thus uh, you have to pay declaration fee. After the payment you will receive a declaration ID. The declaration fee amount depends on your membership level. Declaration fee cannot be refundable. So pay attention that unused DID expires in 12 months. Then attach this declaration ID to your project. And we are almost done with this case. The rest is only verification and submitting. Thus in tab review and submit. For the project status section, confirm that all project status items are marked as complete. For the project detail section, verify that all information is correct including your organization's contact information. For the complete the project and submit product to qualification section, read and select the checkboxes and enter a signature to complete the listing. So for the second we will go through the path with required testing in the launch studio. The second scenario concerns the qualification process with required testing. This process is rather longer, so a few slides more, but we will go them through quickly. This path is intended for members creating a new Bluetooth design or modifying previously qualified Bluetooth designs. Use this path if you are creating a new design or combination that doesn't involve only previously qualified Bluetooth and products or subsystems. 
altering a previously qualified Bluetooth design by changing the core configuration functionality. But also, if you are going to qualify a design that uses a previously qualified Bluetooth component product type. Similarly, as for process, with no required testing, a couple of project basics are needed here. For project name, fill a name for your project. For previously qualified design used in the qualification, enter any qualified design IDs of the component product type or any other QDIDs which you are modifying and incorporating into your project. For the TCRL version, a default is selected. For product types, choose the Bluetooth product type for your qualification. If applicable, enter controller core configuration. And if applicable, enter also host core configuration. Layer selection. You need to be familiar with these matters, but I think you can handle it. There is also a link to help. So for layer selection, indicate the layers involved in your design in the section. Then there are a tab ICS selection. Let's remember what ICS is. It is abbreviation for implementation conformance statements. Basically you select the particular product capabilities for each layer. It is an extensive list. The completion is made by checkboxes and it is for knowledgeable user. This table also contains additional information as well as consistency check button, which verifies whether the selected configuration is set correctly with respect to the selected features. So select the correct features involved in your design. The consistency check tool uh, within Launch Studio will help guide you to resolving any invalid combinations of ICS selections. If you are unable to resolve consistency check invalids in your project and you feel that a launch studio may be in error, you may file a test specification erratum. Once your TSE is approved, uh, you can submit your project with the consistency check invalids for manual approval. As further tab is a testing, here you can download test plan. It consists of a list of the required tests for your design, which was generated based upon your inputs before. It is an Excel file. For exporting ICS, download PTS file. This can be imported in the profile tuning suite in order to conduct qualification testing. Test documentation. In following tab, you can upload the test evidence. Also, completed test plan as required by the PRD document. The next step is about product declaration. You are asked to fill in particular information about the design. So, for design details, enter information for the specific design you are qualifying, including the design name, model number, design description, hardware and software version, listing date, Wi-Fi certification ID and reference integration notes. Notice that the listing date is the date you want your declaration listed publicly in Launch Studio. This date is limited to 90 days after the date you submit your project in Launch Studio. We are getting to product declaration. If you are using or combining a previously qualified Bluetooth and product or subsystem product type with your new design, you should enter the QDID in the reference qualified design field. For product listing, list all the products and product details that use this design in combination with any reference Bluetooth and products or subsystem you entered in the previous section, including product name, ID, product category, product website, publish date, description, and model number. Notice that the publish date is the date you want your product information to be made public in Launch Studio. This date can be no later than 90 days after the date you submit your project in Launch Studio. Then ok, similarly as for first scenario pay a declaration fee. You will receive a declaration ID. The declaration fee amount depends on your organization's membership level. Declaration fees are not refundable. It means that unused declaration IDs expire in 12 months 
from the date of issuance unless used to complete a project and submit it for qualification. For Available Declaration IDs section, select an available DID to attach to your project. If no declaration IDs are available, pay a declaration fee in the section above to be issued a new declaration ID. And this is the last step. Just to review it and submit. For the project status section, confirm that all project status items are marked as complete. For the project details section, verify that all information is correct, including your organization's contact information. For the complete the project and submit product for qualification section, read and select the checkboxes and enter a signature to complete the listing. And a short example for STN32WB5MMG. Get your membership account first. Go to the launchstudio.bluetooth.com. Hit the button Start the Bluetooth qualification process. Enter name of project and QDID by clicking on listing search. Enter ST Microelectronics in searching bar and find the STN32WB5MMG. In the list, you should get QDID 170767. This you put in the required field. Then you will select the RFI, your own or from STN32WB5MMG, TCRL version, product type likely and product, controller core configuration, for example, LE controller, host core controller, for example, LE host. Then select layers. There are predefined checkboxes linked to the STM module. Let them be or select your preferences. Hit the button save and continue to ICS selection. In ICS selection tab, you can check all required capabilities and layers or if enough, let it be. You must now hit the consistency check button. It helps you to solve all inconsistencies. You may use Select All Mandatory ICS to select the mandatory ones. By the inconsistencies help, you can solve all of them. When all ICS are resolved, you can go next by button Save and Continue to Testing. You get to the Testing tab where your test plan can be downloaded. In this listing, you get no if some additional testing is necessary or not, or if you entered incorrect data, what push you to make a testing. Download by button export ICS your ICS to conduct your qualification testing. In testing documentation tab, upload all testing evidence by button add test evidence. When ready, hit save and continue. In the product declaration tab, Fill in all required fields concerning your design and version. Then hit the button Save and Continue. Now you have to pay declaration fee. When paid, continue with Save and Continue. On Review tab, you have to resolve all project status alerts to go further. And then you must check the boxes to confirm the statements. The last is to click on Signature Confirmed and Complete Project. We got to the end. Now you should be able to work better with Launch Studio. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Goodbye.